Hi, I'm Sara Newson of Realm 47. I introduced you a little while ago to a property, um, a student property in York, which was a four bedroom um, property that I've converted to a five bedroom, two bathroom luxury house share, um, still for students. I'm just gonna give you a quick guided tour because the tenants are due to move in any moment now. Um, so bear with me. We've painted the front, added um, some new, um, new walls, and company branding, um, and then we've got um, so very similar to the professional house share I did last time um, in terms of colour schemes and finish, um, but I've added some of these little quotes around the place because I just wanted to make the house a bit more fun, a bit more funky, um, aimed at students, so a slightly lower age group than our professionals. Um, and also they've just left home. So I've tried to sort of think of quotes that might be appropriate for them and their new lives. Um, excuse the hallway. The ceilings were dropped for the shower room above. So we ended up putting spotlights in instead of a um, feature light fitting, which we did previously. We've still gone for the circular mirror, but because I don't have the space for console, we've gone with the picture shelf, which is for letters and things. Um, the builders built this lovely um, new cabinet for the electrics um, and you may remember there was a lobby door as well so that's gone um, and we've created this new lobby over here um, which was the access point here to the second reception room I'll just give you a quick look around in here um, so this is room one it was always a bedroom relatively minimal works have been done there was um blown vinyl paper on the ceiling so that was skimmed taken off and skimmed um and this is probably i would say the biggest room we've added these sockets over fireplaces and on worn walls which i wasn't originally going to do but you know when you start a job it's like well you might as well do it properly and get it all done at once and then i can pretty much put this property out of my mind for the next 15 20 years so we've built in these beautiful desks um these are oak solid oak worktops which I've sourced from Howden's and um, we've also added the shelves because um, students potentially would need more shelving. Um, did away with the oak lats um, on this one and um, that was also just from a price point as well as you can see with those the USB points and I added cat six. Um, I think that's the way that the world needs to go you know five people sharing wi-fi um, with multiple devices um, is not ideal especially with uh, gamers in the house, which is highly likely. So this was the lounge, this bit here to this um, sectioned off part where we've obviously put steels in to open up the wall. There was a window here and access into a galley kitchen there. Um, so we've opened it all up and I am so thrilled with the result. Same kitchen as the last one that you've seen with um, a slight change of the worktops wanted to try these worktops instead of the um the the more marbled effect this time around i've got built-in dishwasher built-in washer dryer i like to streamline kitchens as much as possible um and we've got built-in bins here loads and loads of storage and um over here we've got microwave oven built in i find that with freestanding ovens they rust really quickly and each year the pap test comes up you end up having to replace them um, one and a half bowl sink. I find that really important um, in any house to have the half bowl as well. It's by minimum standards for realm. And then over here I have added a blackboard so they can put shopping lists or messages to each other on there. Um, and this is the clock that we used last time, which I absolutely love. Um, so here's a beautiful bespoke sofa that was sourced from uh, Landlord Furniture Co. I've used the same gallery pictures from last time that you may remember was on the landing at the other property but we don't have the same landing space here so i have utilized it here in the living space which i think works beautifully um this is as you'll have seen before the branded sort of feet interior design feature um but we've built it out and the reason being is that we have hidden the boiler in there so this is um a cabinet that is on magnets and um so you wouldn't even know it was there Obviously, bifolds, beautiful. Um, you know, the value that this adds, this space to this property, 
um, is significant enough to to do that. We, it wasn't the original plan. The original plan was to put shower room off the back, which would have been cheaper. But long term, thinking long term, it's better to invest a bit more. Um, bricks and mortar values in York's really, really good and um, often higher than the commercial values on HMOs. So oak lat wall, which is again a feature you've seen before. This is seating for five for all housemates, but it is extendable as well. So they, if they want to have more people around at a party, they can. Yes, the swing. Um, it actually is amazing. I wanted something to pop. I wanted something different. I put them in just outside last time. I've got one outside here again, but um, I just thought that students need a bit of fun, something a USP and also, you know, make your house stand out. My house will be the swing house and it, it you know, nobody will forget that. So um, in addition to that, I actually sat on this for about a, a minute, I had a push yesterday. And um, do you know what? It's so relaxing. It's like being, when you were a child, you used to get swung. And for me, the houses are about looking after your tenants' mental health um, and wellness and, that has just added a whole new dimension to that for me, which um, wasn't originally the intention. These are shoe boxes, um, and these are for notices, so we have to display or we have to provide um, HMO license, gas certificate, etc. So those are there ready. Um, so onwards and upwards now, we're going to have to get quicker now. So the builders did this beautiful um, new handrail for me, and um, went out and got these gold um, brackets, which I hadn't asked for, but I think it's just lovely and really thoughtful of them, um, trying to keep everything on brand for me. Um, so this is um, something new again. So didn't have the space, like I said, for the landing um, for the gallery wall. <clears throat> so I decided to put another quote up and, um, and uh, yeah, this one I have on my wall at home and I think it's just wonderful and um should be really poignant when these guys are working so hard you know it's the compound effect and you know every bit of effort if they study a little bit every day it pays off um room two this was the bathroom which was absolutely hideous so there was a big shower over here all rotten leaking into the kitchen massive whirlpool bath in the corner over here which had never worked for decades um, so we changed the glass, put new ceiling in, um, this was frosted, put new ceiling in, um, kept a loft hatch, um, all insulated up there and um, yeah, really pleased with it, it makes a fantastic bedroom. Um, in terms of sort of fixtures and fittings, I keep it quite minimal, it, this is a white room, you know, you don't need to so go crazy with interior design, the whole house is white and then the doors are black and it's it's enough, you know because you just add these features, you know, nice light fitting, few bits and pieces around, and and it just looks fabulous. So, and also it's quite a blank canvas, I think, with the white and the black. Um, and I like to add these wall lights as well, so that they've got um, reading lights, and they don't need to have the main light on all the time. Room three. So we managed to keep some of these beautiful fireplaces, which I'm thrilled about, and... And no, I did not paint those. They were already those colours, um, which is awesome. It was meant to be this house, I think. So this was the main bedroom. So we had, um, oh, traditionally with these, with these terraced houses, as you all know, you have a room at the front that goes for full width of the property. So this was the doorway. Ta-da! Um, so we've managed to get in a cupboard, which is great for practical things like the vacuum cleaner. Um, and we've got in this second shower room and um, and this fantastic size bedroom. So it's, I mean, it's still just under 10 metres square. It's absolutely fine for this type of property. Do not um, think that's fine for all property, though. Um, if you're doing HMO, be aware that sometimes you need to be over 10 Um and then I've put in all the nice fixtures and fittings, um, heated towel rails, think about hooks and things for, you know, clothes and dressing gowns and things. The showers I've changed slightly. I've gone with gold. Uh, reason being the water's quite hard. And also, 
I just felt that perhaps the students wouldn't clean them as much. So the black would end up with lime scale on and, and perhaps would um, the coating would come off when we started to clean it. So we've upgraded to gold in this one. And I'm really pleased that loads of storage, I think figured this would be the main bathroom for, the, for most of them. So um, plenty of storage for toothbrushes and, and toiletries to keep those out of ice shot. little light fitting up from um, being cute it's quite sweet um, so this is the loft room we didn't do a huge amount up here we added LEDs on a mains light switch under the beams and obviously painted them black of course um, managed to rescue this Velux window um, this nice little desk area still um, and you know, I had the space here to add two sets of drawers, so why not do it? Provide a bit of extra storage for them. Um, cost a little bit more money, but you've got to think about the user um, and the longevity at the end of the day. Um, also added um, the TV. That was the original TV that was still here. It's the only thing I've kept, um, but I thought somebody might as well utilise it. Um, right, I think that's it, guys. So I think that's it. Um, hopefully you enjoyed um, having a little look around and like what you see. If you've got any questions, drop me a DM. I will be busy doing sort of admin and um, accounts and returns and things over the next week. Um, but I will get back to you as soon as I can. Take care.